Welcome back to Feature Shelf, a series that provides book recommendations based on theme or title suggestions. I'm going to attempt to do this monthly now, and since it's October, I thought a good Feature Shelf would be about things that get your heart racing. So this is Feature Shelf number 50, the Thriller Edition. I'm the supplier. So the first book on our thriller feature shelf this week is My Sister Rosa by Justine Lavalassier. Che Taylor feels like his sister is his responsibility. He needs to protect her from the world and really protect the world from her. He's convinced that she's a psychopath and she's playing games that are increasingly more dangerous. So the question is, how long can he protect her? For the second book on our thriller shelf, we have One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus. For this one, think Breakfast Club meets Murder Mysteries. Five kids go into detention, but only four come out. The police think that it's murder, and all four of the high-profile students have something to hide. Book three on our feature shelf is Allegedly by Tiffany D. Jackson. Mary Asin killed a baby when she was nine. Allegedly. She spent six years in jail, and then was released into a group home. When Mary becomes pregnant, and the state threatens to take her baby away, she knows that it's time to clear her name, that she would do anything to keep her baby. You're not gonna see the end of this one coming. Book four, The Fixer by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. So for The Fixer, think Scandal meets High School. Ivy Kendrick is a fixer, she fixes the problems of politicians and that group of people in Washington, D.C., and she moves her 16-year-old sister, Tess, out to live with her, and Tess becomes the fixer at her school. Interestingly, those kids are it's the same kids whose parents Ivy fixes problems for. The major conflict revolves around a conspiracy involving the family of one of Tess's classmates, and Tess's involvement makes her life more interesting and more complicated. Last but not least on our shelf this month is The Leaving by Tara Alta Brando. So, six kids, when they are kindergartners, go missing. Eleven years later, five of them come back. They have no memory of the last eleven years, and the main conflict revolves around trying to figure that out and figure out what happened to the one boy who didn't return with them. Thus ended this edition of Feature Shelf number 50. 50 of these, wow. Um, if you would like to request your own Feature Shelf, leave me a comment or hit me up on any of the social networking things you see in the end screen, and I will be happy to do that. Next one is spoken for. The next one is going to be the Happy Edition, requested by the Art Die. That one has been a challenge. <laughs> I'm excited, though. I'm excited. I love challenges. So whatever you've got, leave it in the comments, and I'll see you there soon. Until then, I am the supplier wishing you happy reading. Don't forget to be awesome. Hello! Welcome to the end screen, where I tell you all about the places you can find me on the internet. My website is thebooksupplier.com, and you can find me at the book supplier and all of those places listed up in the corner, and I really hope I'm pointing in the right direction. Also, you can subscribe to the channel down here in this corner, and below you can leave comments. I like talking to people on the internet. Leave comments. Okay, I'm actually going to get out of here now.